So I'm here today to show you how to set up your Apache sprayer. This model is a 1025, and we'll go through the different steps of how to do the measurements and how to set up your boom. So the first thing I like to do is walk around the machine, pull your GPS measurements, make sure you know where that's all at, and then very importantly, walk to the back of the boom and see your section set up. You don't have to take measurements across the boom, but at least have an idea how many sections there are. So now we can go into the cab and I'll show you where to find those measurements in the display and how to set them up on cab app. So the Invisual Pro powered off, we can remove it from the corner post. And then remove both harnesses, taking note which one went on top, which one went on bottom. And then your antenna. Bring in your field view harness, which only has one way to go. It goes on the bottom one. You can reinstall the Invisio Pro, putting the top harness back on first and reinstalling to the corner post and then hook your field view harness back up to the OEM harness and then you can mount your field view drive plug Install your ActaSense and install the field you drive. Now that we're in the cab of the Apache sprayer, we're going to set it up on field view. So go to your equipment page. We're going to go to add new equipment, select a self propelled sprayer, select Apache. This is a 20 series, and the model number is an AS 1025. So after counting in the back, we noticed there was nine sections total. And another way to double check that is go to settings on the Invisio Pro. We're gonna go to section setup. And then so these are all your different sections and there's the width in inches. So there's our nine sections. And then our total width is the total of all these. This one is 1,095 inches. This is a rear boom. And then you can come up with a name. And then it's gonna bring up all our GPS measurements and offsets so we can actually find this in here too if you're double if you want to double check yourself so in the settings we'll go to offsets the implement type you don't want to change any of this you just want to go through it so we know our four aft is 220 which is equivalent to the boom to axle And then our antenna height is actually at 140. We'll check that. Move on from here. Oops. We've got to set up application first. So the equipment display is an Invisio Pro. It's a Raven monitor. And then our controller is a single product controller, which is located in the rear right hand side of the cab on this specific machine every one is a little bit different so you may want to consult your dealer if you don't know for sure where it's at and then we're going to go to section setup so this has got nine sections and these are not even so we'll go back to our section setup on the Invisio Pro and then from left to right we'll punch in 
each one. So this one is 90, then 150, and then just keep going down the line through all nine of them. that is complete, we should be done. And then we can create our new machine as an active machine.